Okay, so let's start with making the flowers. For making the flowers, you will need organdy uh, material. So I have, uh, I'm making slightly creamish color flowers. And um, this is for the leaves. Um, I'm also, be, I'm going to use the ready-made leaves. But I will also show you how to make leaves out of organdy. Then I have wire. We'll be making a bud. A little a closed bud a little open bud and a flower so I have three wires here then I have this is floral tape ruler scissors and the plier to twist the wires I think this is all that we need yes and we need thread I'll just get the thread so uh, actually, I prefer that you get the thread of the same color if possible. Otherwise, it's okay. Now, I have made petals out of two sizes of... These are the bigger petals and these are the smaller petals. Now, the bigger petal is about 9 centimeters. And the smaller one... Is about there it's not required it's about seven centimeters but it's not required you can just cut randomly one square bigger than the other square so now let's get started now for the bud you will just roll this fold this into half and you will twist it like this and you will take your wire remember to bend the wire at the end so that it doesn't slip out You'll take your wire and you will just crease it here. And you will tie your thread. Goes one, two, tie it tight. And so this is one bud, the closed bud. So we'll keep this aside. Now we'll do the semi-open bud. Okay, so we take the uh, take another wire, bend it. All wires have to be bended because. So, I'm going to open one now, because. Again, do the same thing. Crease it up here. This is going to be a semi-open bud, okay? So, you can see. Tight. You can see, it's the same as the first bud. I will show you how to make these. I've forgotten that step. Take this. Put it. Close it up. So I, it should be in line with this bud, the tip of the bud and the petal should be in line. Now I'll take another one from the smaller size petals only and I will put it on the opposite side. You can see, I will just put it here on the opposite side and I will turn it around. Okay. I forgot to show you all how to fold these petals so I will do it just now after this bud so this is my semi open bud if I want I can add another one over here okay so let's add it no problem okay so remember to tie this tight and it should not it should be tied in one place you can see I'm tying it in one place I'm not going from up to down so you always tie it in one place and loop knot tight that's enough so here I have one bud 
here I have a little open bud now before I go and do anything else let me show you how to fold this paper this uh, petal now you have got your squares you will put it inside it's and overlap this little bit I have not brought it exactly to the center can you see now I will fold it into half this corners now you can either do it with the uh, toothpick or something but I feel it's more better to do it with your fingers just roll it the corner just roll it similarly this side just roll it two or three times just roll it on both the sides and the center also little you press it down so you will get this effect that's it just keep it like this with a little practice you will able to do it so I have rolled every all of them like this okay so down so now let's do the bigger bud the flower the full flower now again the same thing I will take a bigger wire this is very easy rose this is the first rose that I learned from Auntie Joan so I just tie this up the bud the bud closed bud then I take these smaller ones I roll it around same as the half open bud the petal should be in straight line with the inner bud then I put opposite remember to you know hold it tight here and don't let your hand slip down so that when it is here you will only roll it in this gap you tend to roll it in the right place now I will put between these two so I will put one more here loop knot it you can see the, the butt taking shape now I will put another smaller one opposite If your thread breaks, no problem. Continue rolling. You can see this. Okay. Now I will start putting the bigger petals in between these petals. So I will start adding. You can cut bigger size also if you want. All you have to do is increase the size of the squares. So I'm going to put it all around. Remember to try and roll it in the same place from the beginning to the end. So your fly is only opening but the place where you are rolling is the same. It's with the place where you are tying is the same. So I'm just lining them in between overlapping the petals see this one then I overlapped then I overlapped pull it up neatly keep folding it if required now I will put one on this side it's open so I'll put 
I will have to put two more in the same row. This tying should be very tight. Now I think I need to put one more this here. So this way you can go on. Now this were two size petals that I used. If I use three size petals it will grow more bigger. So you can use three size, you can use four size, depending on how much you want to take your flour. So I'm happy with this. So now I have made some more buds and roses. So now let's attach the calyx. I'll show you how to cut the calyx. So to cut the calyx, I've just taken a green strip. I'm going to fold it into two or three times. And I'm going to cut this end three fourth. Now the calyx, I'm going to just give it a little turn on the top and you know it's not going to be straight weeds it's going to be a little bit twisted see like this okay so you just turn your scissor as you're going so you don't cut them straight they're a little bit so the same thing so you can see so you can see this okay now in between this I'm going to give you know just just a little bit of like small V cuts you know very tiny so can you see this just a little bit okay so on all these I'm going to do the same thing just a little bit and make it a little V So I'm going to continue doing this. So for the bud, I'm going to take a little piece, put fabricol on this, and I'm going to let this calyx be over the bud. I'm going to attach a little glue here and let it be over the bud. You know, the rose, the first, the small buds will have. I can also put a little fabricol here and stick it up closer to the bud you know the first bud is always so I'm going to just stick it up maybe keep just one hanging but the rest I'm going to keep it like this the rest is down okay so this is one I'll show you one more Okay, so this little bit on top now I can just twist it a little bit. Now the second one. This is my semi-open bud. Same. I'll put some glue. Semi-open bud also needs the calyx close to it. And I will just wrap this round. 
so you can see I hope the video is clear I think it's a little bit too long I'll cut off this last one okay so now I have stuck it up over here but a few of them I'm going to twist finger is too dry but I'm going to twist it like this see a few of them So you can see this okay so this is the second and I'll continue doing for all so I have uh, put the calyx for all the flowers all the roses okay the same way as I put it as I showed you how to put it for the bud the same way we put it now I'm going to just wrap this And I'm going to add some leaves. So I'm going to start attaching leaves now to it. So I'll just put one bud close to this leaf and wrap this leaf around the green tape. And bring it a little lower. Then I'll attach a little open bud. So here I have attached, just attach it one below the other with the green tape. So here are my beautiful bunch of roses from the bud to the tiny bud is ready. So I had told you I will show you how to make leaves out of. So here I have taken small pieces of or green organdy cloth and this must be about 3 centimeters. You will need a zigzag scissor. So you are going to cut it a deep round. From this end to this end. Okay. You will need wire. I have wrapped the wire in green tape. Now these are double. You are going to use double. So I am going to use Fevicol These are two petals. I'm going to take some Fevicol Just Line this Place this here and place the other leaf over it Don't worry about this white whitish look of the Fevicol this will go off once the so you can see so same way I'm going to make two more so I have made three flowers now this edge and don't worry if it is whitish like that with the fevicol no problem just twist this corner here Okay, and don't worry that whitish this will go once the fevicol is dry. So now 
these leaves are not yet dry but then I'm going to still start attaching so I will attach from the, attach them down below so all I'm doing is I'm just twisting this wire so I have they're not dry and then I attach one on this side so So you, add, you just arrange them afterwards and here is your leaves. This white thing of the fabricol will go, it will dry up, okay. So I couldn't wait for it to dry. So this is your leaves. If you don't have the plastic leaves, you can make leaves. It's very easy.